Hey subbies, how you all doing? Uh, sorry about the state of this hair and just me in general. Um, today is Sunday the 16th of July and just a busy day today. Like today I've been out to guys. Okay. Um, I've been out to guys today with Lucy. I had a five pound voucher from Hobby. Hobbycraft to spend um, and then went to Asda and then I went to Costa then went to Sainsbury's but yes I am just a mess I didn't wash my hair last night and then my bath last night um so today is also cleaning day um that's why I didn't have a bath last night because new today I'd be cleaning so that's why I'm a mess because I just cleaned the oven and I think we can all agree that sometimes we um we don't clean the oven every time like every day like I don't get I cannot see anybody cleaning their oven every single day of the year after using it so I've cleaned the oven, very satisfying, had a lovely black door, it's now clear, a lovely black oven which is also now clear, um, and it's pill time. Typical isn't it? Just when I'm filming, it's time to have my flipping contraception. Right, that's done and out the way, um, contraception done. Um, but yes, I have had a busy day today, went to guys like came home. Got all my cleaning the oven, want to get that done for holiday because we are going on holiday very, very soon. Cannot wait. Um, but yes, going on holiday very soon. I've got flipping. Oh, this is really annoying. But yes, I've cleaned the oven, very greasy, it does very mucky, and it's now clean and beautiful. It is satisfying cleaning the oven. I find it satisfying anyway. It's just I'm going to rinse it out, which is a problem because there's so much flipping like product in there that's supposed to be like rinsed out before putting it back on again. So I've rinsed out the oven, well you know what I mean, rinsed it out then I've, um, I'm just wiping all the grease off my hands because it just splashed back up, yeah. Um, but yes, rinsed out the oven, I used pink stuff on the door and it worked incredibly. I do not get what they put in that pink stuff to make it work so incredibly well. Um, I put face masks on because it is a solvent, is the stuff which we use, I can't remember what it was, I said Mr. Muscle something for oven, you spray it on but it's very, it's, it's top you have to ventilate and the the recommend that you ventilate and that you don't breathe in so i wore two face masks because i still have boxes full so i've done the oven and i wanted to get this haul done because i'm packing my bags so yes that is why i'm a mess because it's clean day it is cleaning um we're just getting on with doing cleaning which i've been putting off so long and there's no point in being clean there's no point in like having clean hair because then I want to keep my hair clean and all that. Do you know what I mean? But yes, I'm doing a haul today. Um let's go with the Primark one because I'm packing my bag and the stuff that I want to show you is going into my into my bag into my um suit bag. I'm calling it a suit bag, it's not a suitcase, it's a suit bag. Here is the bag I used for Hobbycraft. I will show you what I got from Hobbycraft. Hobbycraft gave me a fiver and this is the start of the haul. It's like, it's going to go into another video because it's in a massive haul, but I just wanted to get this done now so that I can get these bags away and so that I can, like, get the stuff in the bags and I want to put in my suit bag for my holiday. That was a lot more simple, said a lot. But yes, Hobbycraft gave me a fiver for my birthday. Just give me anything you want. So I got this Betty Crocker Devil's Food chocolate cake, which was three quid. And then Lucy was with me. So I got the icing, which was a two pound. And I also got, um, Lucy wanted some sprinkles on top. So we got the Dr. Erdka Unicorn Sprinkles. I don't even say it. I think that's, oh, Unicorn Confetti it's called. I think it's Dr. Erdka. I don't know. Uh, but yes, got that. That was like, it come cost me three quid on top. Um, and then at Sainsbury's, I bought two packs of mini cheddars. Because I've actually got a crisp, which is flipping the with me. And two packs of quavers. I also bought... Eggs, because eggs are needed for the cake. And then I also bought a scratch card, which I won a five, no, a tenner on. Um, I actually spent 13 quid on scratch cards, but I won 10 quid back, so I lost three quid. And then I also got, what else should I get? Oh my God, Lucy got a chocolate bar, and I got some ham, because I've got, obviously, work tomorrow, work. I'm going for blood tests tomorrow after work, which I'm so looking forward to. Um, I'm hoping to get the results in, and if I need extra tablets, or bigger tablets, or less tablets, if you know what I mean, I hope they get the results in quick, and then also get me an appointment quick if I need to get an up, an up. if I need to be seen, I hope that's just seen me this week, because I'm going to hold of it this weekend, and it's like, I cannot be getting seen when I'm on holiday, but yes, um, 
that's from there. Um, I also received, um, I got a £50 Primark gift card for doing a um, survey kind of thing. They awarded me £50, I put it on Primark gift card. So when I go to town this week, because I need to go take something back and I also need to go buy a present, and I also need to go and spend this £50. I'm going to get a new wardrobe of tops because all the tops I have have all just, as you know, you all know, I sweat really bad. I have sweat through all the tops and they've just got sweat stains on them. So I'm going to bin them and get a whole new set. I already have got some in this bag, which is the Barbie bag. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see Barbie this Friday. I have actually got an earlier screening. So happy. My screening is now, because this video is going up Friday, my screening is now 5 to 9 in the morning instead of uh, quarter to 12. So I'm now seeing it 5 to 9 in the morning. But because it's 5 to 9, I booked it earlier. Love the bad guys. Primark, it's so far quid this was. And it's massive. Um, but yes, I booked it for quarter to 12 because I really wanted to see it for going on holiday. And um, I was... It finished at two, so I'd be rushing. So I knew they would release earlier screenings, literally like the week before, um, before the screenings actually being screened. So I looked and they had an earlier screening, so I booked it for five to nine in the morning. Yes. But, I will, but I've got Friday off. Woohoo! Only three more shifts to go. Um, before I go away, I'm so flipping excited, you don't even know. Um, but the thing is, is like, the, obviously, the um, film won't start straight away. It will not start straight away. They say five to nine. Five to nine is when the trailer, the adverts start. Then at like 10, 20 minutes later, the trailers start. So I've got plenty of time. So I'm going to probably get the like eight to half eight bus um, into town. The good to Kirkstall. Uh, finishes at 10 past 11. Coming home. Finishing off my bed. Just finishing off packing and everything. Um, because the next day I go on holiday. Um, but yeah, so was that and something else I cannot think of, remember what it was. Oh yeah, I went and saw Mission Impossible yesterday in IMAX. Yesterday was Saturday, the 15th of July. I went and saw Mission Impossible, The Day of Reckoning Part 1. I was expecting to be bored out of my brain for the full 2 hours and 45 minutes. I was clinging to the screen from the get-go. It was such a good movie. So much better than Indiana Jones. Cannot wait to see part two. And we're sort of in IMAX. So the screen was flipping massive. And the sound was incredible. It was so good. Cannot wait to go see part two. And that's next year. But yes, let's get on with the Primark haul. Um, I got this Milk Maid top, as you know. Um, as I said in the, my... Because I bought this on my birthday. And it is a return. This literally only covers your boobs. I do not get how they are actually selling this. I really don't. Like, it's such a cute top, but it literally covers just that. I would not be seen out, and it fits me really well, but I would not be seen out in this at all. Six quid, it's a beautiful design, but I just wish to like, made one that was like further down, like to maybe belly button like a crop top. But no, it's it's basically a bando, is this with sleeves. It is gorgeous, guys. I love it so much. But I'm not going to be seen out in this at all. It's just, why would you want to show off, like, from here onwards? I really don't get it. But yeah, six quid. Love it so much. I just love the design. It's this beautiful floral pattern. And yeah, she wear on my um, bookshelf thing. But yeah, six quid. This shall be going back to Leeds. Um, I did get it from Bradford, but I think we can return anywhere. But yes, I'm going to town on Tuesday because um, I do need to buy a present and I, I wanted to return this. And I said I'm wanting to buy tops um, to replace the tops I sweated through. I keep catching my nail. I've just filed it down. They are finally long and now I'm like, keep catching them. This one, I broke at work. I reached for the sig drawer and it just, I caught it and it snapped. The other ones are really nice and decent, but I keep catching my thumbs. I've just filed my thumb down and I do not want it breaking. So I'm like, I need to get nail varnish on top so it's more secure. But I'm like, when I've got one nail that's going to bug me, I just fidget with all day. But yes, the next thing you saw in the P 
Peter Hall. Next thing you saw in the birthday vlog was this gigantic snuddy. I have a temperature warning. This snuddy is a 10 out of 10. Um, absolutely incredible. So snug, so cosy, so fleecy. Cannot wait to have this on a holiday because I know the chalet is going to be freezing um, because the weather forecast at the moment is rain, which is typical for us. But obviously we've still got like under a week, so hopefully the weather forecast changes. But yes, Felice Snuddy, absolutely love it. Cannot wait to have it on and be out, standing out like a flipping, like, no, I was going to say Where's Waldo, but that's the opposite. I cannot wait to stand out. I'm going to be like a pink blob walking around the chalet. <laughs> I cannot wait to have this on. It's so snug, especially a duvet in hoodie form. Absolutely incredible. Highly recommend it. I love it. Mum loves it, but she's not one to one anymore. She said she don't want one, so I am so happy I bought it. And I cannot wait. I know it's going to take a flipping load of room in my blooming suit, suit bag up, though, which is annoying. Then I got some laptop stickers. Oh, look at these. They are beauties. Two quid. My MacBook has a plastic case, which I bought for it when it first came. So pleased I did, because now I can decorate it with stickers. Oh my god. These are so cute. I would never think of personalising my laptop because I'd never take it out of the house. But I'm on the like a seesaw of like, do I take it to Wales or do I not? Because obviously I'm gonna be vlogging on holiday. Yes, I am gonna be vlogging on holiday. Um and I want to be getting another Wi-Fi there is rubbish, it's really bad. But hopefully there is a bit of a Wi-Fi signal, I can get the videos like edited and I can clear the SD card off so that I'm not so I've just realised men's bacteria's gone you okay <laughs> so that I'm not filling filling up my SD card so I'm so happy I've got these they're absolutely gorgeous two quid a pound per sheet but they're so nice so happy with them so I got them and I will be decorating my laptop case when I have a minute because at the moment I am trying to get on top of stuff but yes Barbie laptop stickers which it says there at the bottom in yellow so i've got them my bed is a mess which is really upsetting me i bought some tops um i also bought stuff from poundland but i've put that away because it was just such a chocolate and multivitamins i bought some new tops this one just says new york all over it um three quid medium oh my gosh it's massive i should have got a small i got all my tops in mediums as well oh you idiot Oh my god, I should have got them in... Well, in this a medium. I swear this is a medium that I'm wearing. Oh, this is a small. It's the top I'm wearing now. This one's a small. Great. I think I'm going to have to return these and get smalls because these are big. The 12, 14 and this top fits me nicely with a bit of like... Mm, I have to see actually because it's quite tight sometimes around the collar. But yes, I got this New York top. It literally says New York all over it. Again, in black, so it doesn't show sweat. Um, but yes, I got this New York top. I'm literally just going to replace all my tops because I got, like, the other day I ended up buying loads of tops and I returned them all because I didn't need to replace them. But now, because I'm going to Wales, I'm like, yeah, you know what? I do want to replace all my tops. So I'm going to replace all my tops. Um, I bought four tops by the looks of it. Yep. Um, I've got this one, which is also medium and the Primark range. This one just says, let's party. Get it? Party. She's a dog. He's a dog. He's she. Who cares? Party. Three quid. I also got this one, which... Oh, I've got some Disney ones, which are also in medium. I got this one. Oh, look at it. Disney princesses. So it can't focus on one face, haha. <laughs> um, Disney Princesses, this was six quid. Yeah, six quid. Um, again, it's a bit big. I think I'm gonna have to change it for a size small. But I'll try one on and think and go from there. Six quid, Disney Princesses. I also got one more, which is this black Mickey Mouse and Paluto top, which again, is a medium. Mickey and Friends. But again, I think I'm going to have to try them on because these are going to come to about my hips and I don't want that. So it looks like I'm going to have to go take them back, get a return and probably or swap them. I've Me thinking, get medium and I'm thinking grey, I should have got small. 
but yes that is the haul this video shall be included there's gonna be videos before and after this because this video is not gonna be on its own i don't think it's not on but yeah that was it i do have a what's in my suitcase and what's in my entertainment bag but i haven't fully packed it yet so yes guys thank you for watching love you all so much see you in the next video whenever it is even this video or next week whenever the week after that bye have a good weekend like subscribe comment below bye Sorry, one more thing. Um, there will be a Primark haul because I am going to spend this £50 gift card at Primark. And I forgot to show you for the Primark haul, I'll be probably this. Um, I bought a travel sized jewelry box. This came from Amazon. I got it on the Prime, uh, Prime Day, Prime Two Days. It was Prime Day, um, Amazon Prime on the 11th and 12th of July. My birthday, of course. And I had Prime because, I've yeah, I've cancelled it. I had Prime because I had a £5 gift card and I won, I bought two of these from Amazon. These are the perfume pods. It broke. If you're going to go on Amazon, do not get the cheapest, tackiest ones at the three quid from me to you. Do not get them ones, get the more expensive ones. It worked for uh, like two days and then I sprayed it in Bradford on my birthday and her hair, kumph, and I was like, what the heck's that? Turns out... The actual nozzle that controls the spray, the white bit's gone. You can just see the hole. So now if you spray it, it's a, it's a perfume fountain. It literally sprays out a fountain. It's like pure perfume. It's not spray. It's a it's like a waterfall of perfume. So that's full as well of Marc Jacobs, which is really upsetting. But yes, I got a £5 Amazon gift card from a survey and... I bought these and because um, it'd be 10 quid for delivery and postage, I was like, hey, no thanks. So it said, do you want to do, um, Rachel, we're offering you Amazon Prime for 99p for seven days. And I was like, okay then. So it took it off the gift card and because I had Amazon Prime to the 15th, um, I cancelled it because I'm not paying it. I'm not paying, I mean, the same, I mean, however much it is a month. Um, I had Amazon Prime on Amazon Prime Day, so I got this little travel suitcase, suitcase, little travel jewelry box for five pound and nineteen instead of six pound ninety nine. Not a massive bargain, but something a bit cheaper. But yes, I've got my Pandora in there, my three rings. It has three hooks at the top and a little pouch. I am going to be putting earrings in here, but as I said, it is literally coming up to holiday, and I've still got work and date like five i've still got five days at home so i'm wanting to keep hearings in there till last minute but yes that is it there will be a promo call um there will be a what i got what i've got in my entertainment bag there'll be a what i've got in my suitcase i just don't know when because i haven't filled patch yet and I, as i said i do still need to get stuff from primark um for my bag because i'm going to be binning these um because they're just stained and they're gonna all crusty and yeah, just let your imagination go out. Um, but yes, that is it. Just thought I'd let you know about that and anything else. But yeah, the blood test is from my thyroid. Um, I've been on medication now for six weeks. In six weeks, when did I go see the doctor? I think I saw the doctor l last month. Yeah, it was the start of last month, wasn't it? Was it? That is a good question. Eh? It was, must have been last month. When did I see the... Oh, that is confusing, guys. It is July now, and I do not have on my calendar when I went and saw the doctor. Oh dear. I think it was last month, but I can't remember. I know she prescribed me. Was it the end of last month? Was it? Oh, when it like, when I was off work. You see, I'm now gonna have to fix it and try to figure out. It was. It was when I was at work. When I was off work for two weeks, it prescribed me, but I can't see it. 
Anyway, I've been on medication for a month approximately and it's worked. I'm no more, have had no more lightheaded to nearly passing out episodes since starting medication. It's been incredible. Like, I feel much more myself. I cannot believe the difference, like, before medication and using medication. Um, and my thyroid is only 0.4 over the limit. But yeah, I felt rubbish. I was sleepy. And now, thank God, the medication's actually worked. And I've not had one faint, fainting episode. One near one fainting episode where I've gone, like, very lightheaded, off balance. Like, I was it's happening every day, that was. I've not had one of them since that medication, so it's brilliant. So hopefully, it's come back to normal and... Or... Either... It's one of the two options. Or hopefully, it's either gone back to normal, in the normal range, or it still needs medication. <laughs> because I'm scared if it goes back to the normal range that... I'll they'll stop my medication and it might go backwards again, but we'll have to see. Because I said that thyroid, um, in my own subclinical thy hyperthyroidism, um, so I'm just off the scale a bit. That's why it's not, it's not like a proper diagnosis of the thyroid being wrong. It's like subclinical. It's like on. It's like in that little weird bit. Um, but yes, hopefully the medication's worked, and they said it's really difficult to ascertain where the medication sits like they have to, if like um i know somebody that has her that has a really bad one and it was just like see so medication like having to try and get it to the right dosage and stuff but i'm only on the very lowest medication and i feel so much better but yes hopefully the blood, blood tests come back normal or they come back and saying you still have to be on medication but i just hope the doctors get in touch with me this week because i'm not having another phone call consultation whilst i'm in wales because i do remember going to the doctors in wales Oh, so they can be some wells off get medication. But yes, we shall see, and I'll keep you updated. But I'm going for blood test tomorrow at uh, Ollie, and I'm just hoping that it's a very dead clinic and that the blood test gets sent straight away and gets seen straight away, and the doctors get this blood test straight back because it's very last minute and it's stressing me out. But yes, see you in the next video, guys. Bye. Hi, subbies. I told you I'll be back with another video included in this video you're on my bookshelf again bookshelf because my bedroom is a tip it is bad i've got bags at the bottom of my bed for my holiday um we're not using the uh, roller bags anymore just um for certain reasons but i'm not going to go into that so we're not using them anymore so i've got to transfer all my stuff out into different bags yes i have my hair down it is incredibly short have I actually filmed since I had my hair cut? I haven't. I? It's incredibly short. Um, I feel better now with it down. I'm not. Well, I wore it down all day today in Leeds. I wore it down yesterday at work for four and a half hours. I like it down now. I don't like it up. It just feels weird when it's up. Um, but yes, got my hair down and my Dacquil's hoodie on, um, which is making my hair blend into my hoodie. But yes, I said I would be doing a video. But yes, my bedroom's a mess. That's why you're over here and not over there. That is pyjamas, not any laundry or anything like that so yes i've got bags of one bed so i'm transferring all that out today like i said i went to leeds and i had the 50 pound um voucher to spend at primark um um i got rewarded that for doing a survey and i went to spend it today i went spending um i also went to pandora but i'm going to show that in a different video and um i also went to sainsbury's i went bought some scratch cards again um, I spent 18 quid and won 20 pound on one scratch card, so I'm in the plus um, of like I got more money back. Um, I didn't buy them all when I went to the shop for some bread and ham, so I didn't buy anything then. But yes, yeah, so I've got a Primark haul today. Um, very happy indeed. As you saw by the thumbnail, I had to get one of these massive bags because the bags I I knew I was going to buy loads because I literally went in with the intention of buying a whole new wardrobe, placing all my tops and. I have donated about four or five jumpers and bought new jumpers to replace them ones. So I went in today and I filled a basket up. I just grabbed like cheap tops that I know I'm going to sweat through and I needed, I needed, I needed new tops and new jumpers. So that's what I did. Um, all in all, it came to 93 quid. Uh, but I took back my, um, I bought, I just saw in your video, I bought them. Primark tops in a size medium, as in the Disney one and the two or three or four um, 
Primark Designs ones. They were too big. They came just above my knees. They were too big. It was ridiculous. So I took them back. So it took off. That took off about 20 quid. Yeah, it took about off about 20 quid, which made it 70 pound. And then the 50 pound came off. So I only spent 20 pound, 20p at Primark. Very happy indeed. Um, I feel like I was couponing. It was quite good. But yes, Primark all today. As I said, I am replacing my whole new wardrobe. Um, new jumpers, new tops. Um, all the tops that I've got, I'm going to donate because today I bought so many more just to replace them because they're past it. I have washed them, dried them. I have just, I'm just gonna bin them because they're just, they've, I've just swayed through them that many times that it's just gone all like sweat passion in the corner and it's just permanent. Um, but yes, yesterday I also went for my blood tests. This jumper is massive, but I wore it to leave today and I still swayed through it. It's always on the right side as well. Um, but yeah, today I went to town. Um, yesterday I went to Altley, should I say, after work and I had my blood test done. I was there for over an hour. I don't believe it. We got there for about half twelve. I was going to get the bus, but then the bus wouldn't get there in there in time, um, as they said, as the clinic was showing at one p.m. I also I have also done my nails in Crystal Rock Bar M, and I'm up to. I like them, but it's hard to get off. Anyway, Otley Hospital was there for over an hour. I think I was there for about an hour and twenty minutes waiting. Um, we there's a clinic, and then the, the waiting room. Then there's the the queue outside, and people kept jumping the queue and going inside. I eventually got them done and it hurt a lot. Um, I bruised up. I never bruise up with blood tests ever. Um, this is the first time I've actually bruised up because I, she's, I've never seen her before and either she was new or she just couldn't find the vein even though my veins are probably uh, really good with finding the veins for blood tests. So yeah, she put the elastic band on really tight. I left it there for about a good two minutes and I was like, oh, I felt ill. I was like, ugh. And then she put the needle in um, it had the tube and it left and she left it in whilst putting the tube into the actual tube tube if that makes sense um but it was in my arm for a while and it was just like ugh. anyway it's bruised up today it bruised up yesterday the minute i left the hospital so it's gonna be a very sore arm but every time i've had a blood test it hurts to bend my arm today no it hasn't um but yes prior my crawl but yes the blood tests are done they've been sent off to lgi well the leads path test pathological room testing i don't know to be checked um but yes back into the hall so yeah blood tests are done nails are done happy with the nails and i've only got two shifts left anyway back to the hall let's get on with the haul of this massive bag's worth the bag cost me one pound 20. i did pick up originally a stitch one which was about like that it was small it was about this size um but then I saw the Primark ones at the end and I was like getting one of them because it's easier and it's hell it's I thought maybe about three quid but they're not. And instead of I was not carrying paper bags around leads with me. No way in heck I was carrying the paper bags around lanes. So I forgot to pack. I have got a bag which would have carried all this, but I got on the bus and forgot to pack it and I was like, great, oopsies. But yeah, it's got this bag and let's get on with the haul. Um, I'm not, it's not going to be a try on because I do, I am packing all this stuff, not all of it, but I'm packing a bit of this stuff into my actual suit, my, not suitcase, I'm not using suitcases anymore, um, into travel bags, so yeah. First item is this jumper, I got everything in a size small, I got this jumper, it's Disney Princess, um, it was 9 quid, it was 10 quid was this, 10 quid, it's a fleecy jumper, it's cute, it's dark-ish. Um, size small, um, very happy with it, it's really cute. Disney princesses, just very simplistic. Black, well, it's more like a greyy colour, not black, this is black. So it's like a bit of a lighter shade. But yes, yeah, cute. Just, as I said, I needed new jumpers and new tops. So I went with a Disney one. So that was £10. I'm not going to try it on, as I said, as I've got to pack my bag. Because it is doing my head in. I've been packing for weeks. And I'm just, today I'm like, I'm finally going to be packed and I'm going to be ready. Right, I'm going to do it in a particular order. So there's tops and tops. I'm going to do the tops as well. Um, I've got loads. I've got loads of tops. I've probably got too many tops, but as I said, I'm literally throwing away all the other ones. Right, the next item is this top. You saw it last time. Um, I got this in size small. Um, so yes, she refunded it at the end. So instead of getting the money back, I just took it off the actual... Um, I took it off the total size small it just says let's party 
Um, but yeah, definitely different in size. It's a lot smaller, which is great. So I just got that top. I'm going to have to detag all these as well. I did get some white ones. I wanted this one last time, but they didn't have it in my size. This one is a size small and it says, it says Cat Lovers Club, reserved members only. I wish I got my grandma this top. I love this top so much. It's so cute. Size small, three quid, very plain, very simplistic. But again, needing new tops. I'm going to stop saying that now. So yes, got that one as well. Today we just literally restock the wardrobe i just grabbed anything any tops i could find this white one with the green love hearts three quid again i presume they're all three quid yeah all size small all three quid the primark range just cheap tops then i got this one which again is a cat one it says i love cats and meow again three quid very simplistic tops i would got a lot more I would have preferred black tops, but unfortunately I only had a small selection of black tops. So I was like, well, I can't buy, I cannot not buy tops. I'm going to have to buy a load of tops in whatever designs I've got. I got this polka dot, plain, simple polka dot one. No one sees the tops anyway. I always wear jumpers. Always wear jumpers. But just, yeah. I need obviously tops underneath. This Paris... Le Miraz, Rudy Rivoli, I don't know, blue one, and then I got Be Positive, black top, I'm not saying the prices because well, three quid, then I got this one which I saw someone wearing the other day in town, this one just says New York, City, Rome, Sydney, uh london paris it's just got like the capitals on it with like the design of like the london bridge and uh statue of liberty and the rome coliseum and eiffel tower and all that so that was three quid as well um i said i bought a load of jumpers she went full out didn't she i should have gone with somebody who would stop me i got this one. Oh, look how cute oh, look how cute this was nine quid, a uh, white top. I love Disney so much. I couldn't find their basic jumpers, but I prefer Disney jumpers because I love Disney, as you all know. And like this Jack Wills one is great. It just is massive. But the other Jack Wills ones I've got, which is the little um, bird in it with a stick and a hat, um, basically the Jack Wills logo, is very tight. It's very clingy. This one's great. This one's size 10. It's massive. But yes, I got... Um, Lots of Disney ones. This one's fleecy as well. It's got Donald Duck on it. It's got Pluto. It's got Daisy, Minnie Mouse and Mickey. Very cute. It looks cropped as well, actually. Yes, very cute. And again, it's baggy on the armpits. Ideal. And they're all really fleecy. So, that's good. I'm just going to go my wardrobe. It's currently empty at the moment because I've washed all of it. Um, I'm just going to go in my wardrobe and just empty it out. and just put all this new stuff in because, well, actually no. Most of this, some of this is going to my backpack, not my backpack, my luggage, my holiday. I cannot believe I'm going away this weekend. Oh, I'm so excited. I uh, got this Mickey Mouse um, outline top. It looks so good on camera. Um, love tops like this. Anything that stands out, I love it. Just like that Keith Haring, Haring um, jumper with the multicoloured people on it. Love it. Love it so much, but I stand out like a sore thumb. But yes, this one, again, this was 10 quid, and it has the Mickey Mouse outline, and it's just really cute, and I love it, and it's dark, so it's great. And it's very baggy again. I'm going to have to decide which ones to take. So Wales, guys, I really don't know. I saw this ages ago, and I wanted it, and then today I was like, I've got 50 pound. I've got 50 quid to spend. I can do an actual shopping spree in Primark and not be feel guilty about spending money, because if it wasn't... If I didn't have that gift card and spent that much money, I'd probably be taking this all back. So, yeah. Um, and I've always wanted this jump when I saw it come out. So, I finally got it today. It says, Once Upon a Time. It's got the the Disney castle on it with Disney Princess. It's a size small, but it's massive. Um, nine quid this was. This one's an actual hoodie. The other ones are just jumpers. It's got the uh, the necktie, the, the hoodie ties and the hood. But, yeah. Disney Princess, Once Upon a Time. A very white big jumper but it is a small it is a it is a size small but yeah really cute 
Love it. And then I got, oh, I forgot about this one. It's because she packed it for me, see. I gave her the bag and she packed it, which was quite nice. But the ladies that were actually on tour, they were um, chatting about how bad their manager was, which was like a bit unprofessional love, right in front of me. And they're taking the shields down. I love this jumper. This was 10 quid. The Winnie the Pooh. It's got Winnie the Pooh on it, Piglet, Eeyore and Tigger. Look how adorable. And this is in colour oatmeal. One of the tops actually went through at a quid. I think, yeah, that cat top went through at a quid, which was weird. But yes, look how cute it is. It's so adorable. I love it so much. Size small. I just, anything with Disney on it, I'm in love. Yep, yeah, got that one as well, which was a tenner. And we're at 13 minutes and we've got temperature warning. Right, I had to get some new socks because my socks, I've had them for years. They've lasted so long, but I've realised recently that the bottoms are crusty. Might as well be honest, aren't I? So I bought some new ones today. I bought these Nickelodeon ones at Primark. They were £4.50. You used to be able to get five pairs of socks at Primark for like four quid. Now they're doing them more expensive. But yeah, these have got, I just got them because I needed new socks. So I don't know what the names are. So if you do, tell me which. I'm probably going to get a load of hate now. Cause I, I, I know her face. Is she Angelica? I think it is Angelica, you know. It's her. There's the dinosaur. And then you've got whoever that is. I, 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 can, I know his face, but I can't think of what it's called. But yes, I've got some Nickelodeon socks. Just not because I like them, but because I need new socks. It's got them ones. They were four fifty. Got these Bambi ones for four pound. Um, you come with Bambi. Um, I always get um long socks. I hate ankle socks. Can't stand the feel of them. Um, there's some floral print, and then you've got you've got some ones as well. Oh my god! They had some Daisy fashion socks, which I love so much. But when they said fashion socks, I was like, well, why are they so? Why are they? Oh my god! It's actually got thumper on it. It's got thumper on it! No way, it's got thumper on the actual sole. Um, I didn't realise by fashion, I didn't buy them, I was going to, but then I realised that they're not actual like sock socks, they're fashion socks to go with like dressing up. Um, they were clear, they were netted ones, so I decided not to, but I loved them so much. And they were really cheap. But yeah, that's them Bambi ones. And then I also got, <laughs> I also got Keith Haring. Or herring, what did I say? I really don't know how to say it. Um, £4.50. Um, you get the like love heart ones. Then you've got love. And you've got the love heart ones at the back. And that's the designs of the Keith. I'm going to say herring because I don't know how you say it. That's the design of them ones. And then let me show you these ones because my camera's going to cut off. And I've still got something else to show you. I've got these are the Nickelodeon rug. Rugrats. It's not in Rugrats. Yes, it is. It's Rugrats is these ones. These are the ones that... Are... No, they're not. Nickelodeon. It means the whole of Nickelodeon, like Spongebob. But these ones are Rugrats ones. That's bizarre. And then the Bambi ones, which probably will not focus. Kind of. And last item I got, even though I've already bought myself a beach towel, sticking with the whole Bambi. Barbie. <laughs> theme. <laughs> I got myself, oh no, I'm opening anyway. I got myself the Barbie beach towel. I couldn't resist. I've already bought myself a beach towel for four quid from Primark. And then I was like, I want the beach towel for Barbie. So I got a pink one, but then I wanted the Barbie one. So I've ended up buying this upside down. Yeah. But then I bought the Barbie one, which is rather thin. There you go. That's what it looks like. It's big, but it's very thin. But obviously it's a beach towel. It isn't exactly a towel for dry yourself down. But yes, got myself a Barbie beach towel to stick with the whole Barbie theme. <sighs> now I can detag everything and pack and officially say I have officially packed for holiday. Just been staying back. I've just got my charger to, um, to pack and my phone, no, and my like last minute stuff really. So yes, when I've done this video, that'll be it. I will be packing it all into the bag, the official go. I officially packed. So happy. But yes, that is it. I'm actually going to show you um, what I got from Primark Pandora. Um, one of my colleagues is unfortunately leaving and she's a really good friend of mine. So 
Um, this video is actually on Friday. Yeah, it's ideal. Um, so, as a leaving gift, I got her a Pandora. I'd seen it. I just searched Pandora Friends Charm. And, of course, I'm going to have to do... De... Oh, for goodness sake. I just have to rip the sticker off. Um, there was... I just searched Pandora Friends Charm on the website. And it came up with one of these that interlock. As in, two jigsaw pieces that interlock. I've got the... the why did I have to flip in? I wasn't going to show you it, but because I'm putting this up after tomorrow when I give her the present, I can show you. I've got the, what I class is the main bit. Oh my God, uh, this is going to me out. I'm going to have to prop this up, which I do not want to do. Wrong way, there we go. I've got like, I class is the main bit, but either bit, there you go. Either bit could be the main bit. It says true friends with a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle on it. And then on the inside of the ring, this bit, other side Rachel, it says my missing piece. And the other part, sorry, where is it? Nope, nope. I am still here. <laughs> the other part of it is this. Which is it going to focus? There we go. So that's what the other part looks like. And the jigsaw pieces interlock with each other. So on her side says my, um, my missing piece as well. If I try, oh, it's going to be hard one-handed and not looking at the camera. So the jigsaw pieces. Please don't cough, camera. Please do not cough. Not whilst I'm doing this in a zoomed-in camera. And when I went into Leeds, it said it was in stock. So when I asked, she was like, oh, we should have it. So when she looked, turns out that there's only two pieces of one part of it left. So there was two exact parts. Oh, I'm going to show you this. I've just reboxed this after checking it out. And I have to read it off now. It interlocks. I don't know I'm going to show you this. It interlocks, look. There you go. Look at that. The beats of the jigsaw interlock with each other. Yeah, some people might say it's cringy, but it's perfect. Me and her are really good friends, and I'm really sad that she's going, and I'm just really upset she's going. So I wanted to give her a leaving gift. Very upset she's leaving, but I'm happy that I got her there. I'm so happy that I went to Leeds today and looked, because she looked, and as I said, um, as I said, she looked in the drawer, and she picked out two parts. She picked out what she thought was the, um, was the actual charm. And when she looked, it was the exact... Oh my god, I can't get back on again. It was the exact... It was two pieces of the same half. So they weren't interlocking. And she said that they'd been stolen. So I was like, what do you mean by stolen? No one can get in the drawer except the Pandora staff. My ring is very full. Oh, bye guys. Internal temp high. Bye. So yes, I've got my hair up. Um, I forgot to say how much, this isn't a vlog, I'm just saying how much the, um, look at the nail. I'm just saying how much the charm was. The charm was a tad bit expensive. The charm was 55 quid. Um, because I had 10% off my birthday, I got it for 45. I got it for 45, no. I got it for 49.50, just for that you know. And also, I will be filming and Whilst I'm away on holiday, as I'm going away this Saturday, this video is going up on Friday, so I will. I am uploading weekly. I'm not going back to twice a week yet because I've not been uploading for ages anyway. Um, but I will have a what I've got in my suitcase and what's in my entertainment bag. So then videos will be going up as well whilst I'm away. Um, I've done my hauls. I am off to go see Barbie on Friday at five to nine in the morning. Um, the day I watched this, but I've already watched it. Um, work Wednesday, work Thursday, meeting my colleague tomorrow for a drink. Um, Friday, no work, I've booked it off with it being the day before I go away. As me and brother used to have a tradition of going to Asda and Geisler every Friday and buying like like last minute entertainment stuff. Um, so I wanted to book the Friday off because I didn't want to be rushing because I'd finished at three o'clock and I'd, we've got to the bag from grandparents' house. So I've booked Friday off with the purpose of wanting to relax from the Thursday, if that makes sense. I just want the Friday off so that I can actually 
like then to prepare and get excited like not not like I'm already excited because I'm flipping buzzing but um I've also taken my clothes to the clothes bin as well um I've put them clothes in the bin shall I say um but yes the tradition on a Friday is to go to Asda just get last minute things and that's what I'm going to do so the um that's what we normally do just want the Friday off so that I can relax, get ready, get last minute stuff done. Um, but yes, I'm also, we've seen Barbie at 5 to 10 in the morning. At View at Kirk still, I was going to go at quarter to 12, but then I changed it to 5 to 9 because then it gave me more time to actually get ready and do other stuff. And then I'll be going to Asda in the afternoon and yeah, getting last minute things and getting excited and all that. But yes, getting close now. I've, I have got to film. I want to be in the tent bag and I want some suitcase. My suitcase is now done. Um, my entertainment bag is not because the stuff that is being in the same bag is like last minute things and I don't even know what else I need in the same bag. I am taking my MacBook because I'm going to edit whilst I'm away and I'm thinking of taking my Nintendo but I don't think I'll use it and all of our entertainment stuff has to go on our knee or on the floor by our feet in the taxi and if I take my Nintendo switch it'll have to come in its case and the case is like the size of a laptop case and I'm already take macbook so I'm like my macbook's already gonna be in its own little case it's gonna be in this I'm like I'm gonna either put it in a bag as in I might put it in the back of my backpack because I don't want the I don't want it getting thieved it sounds harsh but we are going by taxi and Obviously, when we go to the services, we're not going to leave the taxi driver, like, unoccup like unoccupied with our um, stuff. But I still want to have that safety there, that the MacBook is, like, safe. Um, but yes, yes, I just thought, yeah. So when you're watching this, I'll be on the next day. And I can't flip it guys. But thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. See you all next Friday with either What's Me In Save Bag. Oh, what's in my suitcase? Bye, guys. Don't be in my holes because I'm not going shopping. I don't need out. Except Friday, as there. There'll be vlogs, though. There'll be vlogs coming up after I'm a holiday. Yes. Bye.